choice of words right now. The show made us look guilty. Hey, look, honey, a nice table here. We're going to sit right here and talk a little softer. Anyone who saw that piece of trash is going to think we murdered Philip. You know what? This better be Vince Russo because I'm going to slap Alan with the biggest lawsuit. You know what? There's more people staring at you right now than even watch the show. Nobody watches that junk. <sighs> Hello? Hello? Well, what a nice surprise. What, what brings you to my cell phone so late on a... What? Who is it? Jenkins Parker. A client. Our soon-to-be ex-client. Guess what junk TV show he never misses. Well, he says it's a blue dress, but he doesn't say whether it's peacock blue or midnight blue. Men are so colorblind when it comes to things like this. Well, hello. Well, hello to you, too. Give me that. It's mine. So the stain never came out of the other one, huh? The other one? You're at the dress. You said that you had spilled wine. Gus, do you mind if we, we talk about something that doesn't revolve around what a klutz I can yeah, be sure. sometimes? Let's talk about Harley. Why? I know that ship set you the other night, and, and I, I couldn't, you know, kind of stuck in my mind. Well, I don't think that's too hard to figure out, you know. Philip was the love of my life and the father of my children, and if she killed him, then... Well, you don't really believe that, though. I mean, deep down in your heart. Oh, I see. <laughs> this must be one of those famous Ituro hunches well, I mean, I've heard so much about. You wouldn't want to take the rap for something if you knew she was innocent. I don't or... know that she is innocent, and even if I did, what am I supposed to do about it? I was hoping you'd tell me. Hello. Hey, it's me. Don't hang up. Reva, I'm here. Look, I am terrified that Jonathan is going to tell Edmund or Tammy what happened that night at the Beacon. Nothing happened. Except, of course, you set up my son. I made a stupid move. Okay. But it could get worse. Reva, Tammy is just starting to feel again, and Edmund... Uh, there's no telling what he might do. Cassie, as angry as I am, I don't want to see your life fall apart. Then please keep Jonathan from telling anyone. Weva, he's already hurt my family bad enough. Please don't let him do it again. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Hello, Jonathan. Good to see you still. Excuse me. I have to pick up a prescription. You ordered some of those, uh, dud to stud pills? Does the new groom need a little lift between the sheets? God, I hope you didn't work on that one too long. <laughs> no, I just, I thought of it now. How was your wedding night, by the way? Did you even have one? I beg your pardon. Well, I've heard, and it's hearsay, but... Some brides will go and party so hard the night before their wedding that there's no gas left in the tank when it comes time. You know what I mean? So did Cassie get all wild and crazy the night before she said I do? I'm betting she did. I'm betting she let it all hang out. Jonathan, mm -hmm. I'm in a very good mood today, and I don't think even you can ruin that. Is everything okay here? Oh, of course. We were just having a nice little chat. Yeah, about Aunt Cassie. I was just wondering about all the fun she must be having now that she's married. Good night, Riva. Do not play games with him. Oh, because Uncle Eddie can be dangerous, I know. Jonathan? What, Riva? I was trying to do the guy a favor. I mean, I wanted him to know what kind of cold-blooded, manipulative person he just married. 
She has a good kisser, though. Stop it. What? Cassie was so lasered in on proving that I'm sleazeball from hell, she's willing to hop in the sack with me. That's commitment. Okay, so you're going with the tough guy routine tonight. I actually prefer it over the victim. I need something from you. You can ask. When the urge comes over you to tell everybody, including Edmund, especially Edmund, what Cassie did that night, you need to push that urge back down. Why should I? Because I'm the one who's asking. You waiting for someone? Wow. What happened to that newlywed glow? I couldn't be happier, Dinah. Hmm. You might want to say that to your face. So walk away, Dinah. Is there trouble in paradise? No. There isn't. Did Edmund dump you? <gasps> oh, my gosh, he did, didn't he? Why would you think Edmund dumped me? Because the heartbreak is written all over your face. You're hallucinating. Oh. Wow. You've only been married a day, and now this? There is no this, okay? Then why are you so upset and shouting? Look, I know that it's that restlessness in you, your hunger for more. You can't help yourself. I can relate. I'm like that, too. Like what? So what's the deal? Did you hook up with your personal trainer or get some young college stud? Look, listen, it happens, okay? You're probably better off without him. And... I said, give it here! Okay, let's talk about this, okay? I ain't talking about zip to get my dress. Actually, it's not your dress. Like, heck it ain't. No, listen, it was dropped in here by accident. Liar. I saw it stuck in there not an hour ago, and it wasn't by you. N no, no, but, but... It's first come, first serve, so give me. But you can't have it, and that's that! With Gus thinks it's gonna help prove I'm innocent or that Beth isn't. I don't know. At this point, I don't care. All I know is I was told to come here and I was told to get this dress. And that's it! So back off while I take this baby with me! Who are Gus and Beth? It's a long story. Then cram it! Oh! What do you want from me? The truth. I just need the truth, too, and that will clear Harley. Even if I did believe that Harley was innocent, and I'm not saying that I do, the police have a lot more to say about this case than yeah, I do. They They're do. the ones they with have, all the they evidence. They have a lot of things her. to say. They, okay, but then they don't talk know to everything. Them. They don't know everything. Okay, there is evidence out there that would clear her, and I, I just I need the real facts. I need the story. I need to know everything that happened that night, every single Why little thing. Why are you talking to because me? Because I'm desperate here. I'm just I'm looking for little scraps. I'm looking for anything at all that'll fill in the blanks. Okay, now you're not doing this for Harley. You're doing it for Philip. Think of it like that. You're doing it for Philip. Yes, the, the, the love of your life, the father of your children. Beth, I know that you're torn up about this. I know that of you're torn up about this. Of course I am. Okay, well, look at it like this. If this was the book of Philip's life and this was the last chapter, wouldn't you want it to be filled with the truth? I mean, doesn't he deserve that? Don't you deserve that? Don't the children deserve that? Are you willing just to, just to let it all go, There's honestly? I know that, that I, you, can... I know that you have something that you want to tell something to somebody. Gus, okay, if you do please, that, if you don't help me, it will clear Harley, and then I can help you. I will be there for you. Gus, Listen to me. Look at me. Gus, look at me. Will... Yes, you can tell me. I was... You can tell well, me. Well, look who I found. I, uh... I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Trying to pull rank? Get me to play nice because mommy wants me to? Won't work. Why not? Because mommy didn't believe me when I told her nothing happened. Okay. We're gonna play this a little differently. It's in your own best interest that you do what I ask. Why? Edmund. You think you'd hurt me? No good will come from him knowing. See, that's what I don't understand. Why would you let a guy like that marry your sister? You're not being 100% straight with me here, Riva. How? Well, first you tell me that you don't want me to tell anyone because you're trying to protect me. But I feel like you're trying to protect Cassie, too, in her new marriage. I am. Cassie 
went behind your back to set me up. Why do you think you owe her anything? Look, Dinah, I am sorry to keep repeating what must be depressing news for you, but I am happy, okay? My life is great, and I'm going to continue to be happy because I'm with the man I love. Do you understand that? No, I don't believe you, and that can't be possible, especially with what... Hey. What's going on here? You and me. As in, Dinah can't stand the fact that there's a you and me. Hey, how are you? Much better now. Oh, I ran into our nephew Jonathan earlier. He wished us his best in his own charming little way. My God, you look beautiful. Shall we? Look, if there was any truth to the story, Olivia and I would be sitting in a jail right now rather our, than running a slingshot now, wouldn't is we? just fine if clients if you stick with us. I'm just saying give it some time. That's all I'm saying. Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't pull out. Hello? Hello? Turn off your phone. What? Turn off your phone. The client's your desperation. Or we are no good. desperate. Olivia, we're going to beat this thing. Right. Right. Our reputation is shot. Our, our clients are bailing right and left. Not to mention all the social workers and, and family court judges who probably watch that junk. Let's order champagne. Listen to me. No one is going to take Emma from you, okay? And no one is going to stop us from beating this. Oh, damn, Alan. He wants everything. He wants my child, my business, my livelihood. It's not enough for him just to win. He wants to crush me in the process. Yeah, the Spalding fight song. There yeah, you go. the very thing that got Philip killed. All right, listen to me. There is a way to beat Alan just gotta find it that's all I'm not giving up I'll fight and I'll win this is a war there is one battle we may have to concede what is that maybe we should talk about dropping the adoption <laughs> away from me look I don't want to hurt you lady but I need that dress lay off it's my color Wait a minute. I know you. Me? You work at Harley's Angels. Don't you recognize me? I'm Hattie O'Brien. You helped clean up that rotten mess I got myself into with the cops. You're <sighs> Blake, right? Yeah, that's me, Blake. Mm -hmm. I'm glad it wasn't that partner of yours. What's her name? Marley. Charlotte. Harley. That's it. Harley. Ugh. I never could stand her. So bossy. Rhymes with witch, if you get my drift. Well, you know, she, she's, got a, she's got a good heart. Uh, I have trouble with her myself, too. Here. Cheers. Really? Thank you. Heck, it's the least I could do after all you've done for me. <sighs> Patty, thank you so much. And, and I, I gotta run, but you take care of yourself, okay? Hey, you wanna go back to the drop-off box? Great. There is an open seat at the bar, Alan. I really would appreciate it if you would take it, because I'm in the middle of a conversation. Yes, I can see you are. It looked to be very intense. I hate to cut it short, but uh, you need to leave, Beth. What? Right now. You, are you her social director all of a sudden? No, but her son James is, and he needs his mother. Well, did, did something happen? Well, you know, he's been very upset. He had a terrible night, and I think you could calm him down. Well, you couldn't have called first, is that right? Well, I couldn't take little James being upset anymore, so I came out looking for Beth myself. And you found her? Yes, yeah, sitting here with you. What are the odds? Lillian's at the house. Couldn't she take care of James? No, uh, if he's upset, I really should go Beth, to but him. we're not, we're not, we're not, we're talking here. I think we're finished. Are you coming, Alan? I'll see you at home. Yeah, I'll see you at home as well. You know, Gus, it's bad enough that you're trying to save Harley, the woman accused of killing your brother. But don't keep stabbing your family in the back. We've suffered enough. Take your doomed crusade somewhere else.
Just looking for the truth, Dad. I'm really sorry if that offends you. Well, the truth, Gus, is you have spalding blood running through your veins, and I'm getting tired of reminding you. That's never very far from my mind, believe me. Well, in that case, show a little support. It would go a long way to keeping the peace. There's not going to be any peace until Philip's real killer is found. I agree. But you will have to agree that the evidence against Harley is overwhelming. Yeah, it's overwhelmingly circumstantial. Huh. So now you're going to go after Beth, is that it? Philip was the love of her life. You do not murder someone you care about more than anyone Listen, Dad, on Earth. I have been a cop for way too long, okay? She has got a secret. She has something to say, and she was just about to tell me before you walked in here. If you hadn't walked in yes, here when you if did... if I hadn't walked in here, Gus, you would have browbeat her into admitting something that would have provided you with a suspect other than oh, Harley. please, whatever. Yeah, now who's hiding from the truth? You don't care about Philip, you never did. It's always been Harley, and it still is. Harley didn't kill anybody. I don't care what the rest of the world thinks. Facts don't matter to you, do they? You know what? I'm gonna find out who killed your number one son, okay? And when I do, you're gonna come to me, you're gonna say, Gus, I am sorry, I apologize. And if that means I have to go after Beth or anybody else that you care about, well then so be it. You, know, you are a walking example of, of justice being blind. So are you blind? I've done everything I can to be a good father to you. Yeah. <laughs> and all you do is throw it back in my face. Well, let me tell you something. I have my limits. Beth is family. If you go after her, you won't have a father anymore. You will have an enemy. What's the big deal? It's just a stained dress. She's right. You're desperate. Scrambling to find anything that'll get you off the hook. It's kind of pathetic. Don't listen to them, Harley. You didn't kill Philip. Are you sure about that? I'm not. Don't listen to them. Listen, I'm not going to lose you again. It's the romantic. Two-dimensional, if you ask me. Butt out! Come on, Harley. You really end up pinning this on someone else? Oh, no matter what the truth is, just so you can walk? No! I would never do that! Harley is not a murderer. But what if I am? I need to know what really happened. You already do. You're just afraid to admit it to yourself. That's the way you want it to be? It's awful for her to think that she murdered the man who fathered her son. But it's true. You're a killer. No! The police have a strong case. And all you've got is a stained dress. Maybe you just ought to cop to it, huh, Harley? Denial is pointless now. Stop that! End the pain. The doubt, the doubt, the doubt. I couldn't have done it. I couldn't have done it. No, you're going to try it. Confess, 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 confess. confess. Get it over with. No! You're just putting off the inevitable. You were angry. We all were angry. We all were angry. You were angry. Look, Harley, look, Harley, it's gonna be it's okay. gonna be okay. You didn't kill Philip. You're not, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not to prison, to prison, to prison, to prison. You don't want me to adopt Emma? Oh, no, I do. I do. It's just that I'm afraid that if it happens right now, that it's just gonna cause trouble, more trouble. With Alan. Look, it's no coincidence that no. he started this latest scorched earth policy against me when he found out you wanted to adopt him okay it's probably what set him off all right what makes you think he's gonna stop just because we we, we put off the adoption i don't know that it would then why not stick to our guns here i don't want emma getting caught in the middle of another turf war with the spaldings it's not fair it's not fair it's not fair to emma it's not fair to you well, you are trying to do this amazing thing for us. Olivia, I'm not complaining The here. whole I... idea of you adopting Emma was to give her a strong, stable family. I'm afraid that if we do this, 
at the rate that things are going, it's just going to work against us, okay? It's going to tear us apart. It's never going to happen. Never going to happen. But all right, all right, all right. If, if you want to take the adoption off the table, then, then so be it. You okay with that? You would really do that? I mean, if you think it's best for Emma, best for you, then it's good enough for me. But listen, we are going to beat this. You'll see. You know, the thing that I hate most about all of this, Emma still loses because she's going to be cheated out of the best father in the world. For now. When you're angry at someone, that doesn't mean you don't still love them or want what's best for them. Oh, it sounds like that should be in the Bible somewhere. It is. Under do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Listen, moms, when I do so Are you angry that I haven't totally written Cassie off? Is that what this is about? No. No, it's just funny to me, that's all. Funny? What's so funny about it? Well, you go storming out of there like you never want to talk to Aunt Cassie again, and now you're asking me to protect her. She's my sister, family. That's how it works. Yeah, sure. That's how it works with you, too. If you say so. Why are you constantly making pick sides to prove that I love you? Life's tough, huh? Yeah, it is sometimes. Yeah, well, go ahead, pick sides. See if I care. I do care, Jonathan. I deserted you once, and I won't do it again. I hate what Cassie did. And I hate how you reacted. But I'm just trying to get past this, so please. Please, keep what happened to yourself. Okay. All right, I won't, I won't mention it to anybody. I'll even promise you. Can you promise me that I'll always feel as safe as I do right now in your arms? I promise you I'll always try to make you feel just this safe in my arms. Hey, what about inviting people over tomorrow night? Sort of a thank you dinner. Okay. Who? I don't know. Well, Josh and Reva, for starters. No. Should... We can't. Cassie, what's wrong? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, uh... Reva and I had a disagreement today, so... Huh. It's funny. She didn't mention it when I ran into her before. And where was this? hospital. Oh, she's probably just preoccupied trying to deal with Jonathan. She was there with him? Oh, not at first, no. During that mercifully brief period, he had me all to himself making smarmy innuendo about our wedding night. And then she showed up and stopped him? Mm, distracted him was more like it. He needs to back off. He's out of control. And Edmund, no matter what he says to you, you can't listen to him. Do you understand me? You cannot listen to him. Cassie, Cassie, relax. Don't worry about Jonathan. Arguing with Reva really upsets you, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, then I want you to do me a favor. I want you to make up with her. Because I don't want my beautiful new bride to worry about a thing. bothering with the tube when reality is so much more satisfying if you do it right. Nobody even says hello anymore. You know, I saw Cassie a little while ago and she seemed like she, uh, had been smacked with something big and ugly. <laughs> you think? Yeah. And then Edmund, he showed up, you know, a, a few minutes later and acted, unfortunately, like life was just ducky. He's a newlywed. What happened to the vocal cords? Did they snap with the fall along with the leg? 
Is that why Emin is acting very clueless about the fact that his wife is still the slut of sluts? Ma, 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 ma. No, my voice is okay. Thank you. You having fun? Yeah. Just bored. Jonathan, you talk a real good game. But I never figured to be a coward. Oh, good. So you, you got the dress. Yeah, I got it. Oh, that's great. See, you know, that's funny because uh, only, only tonight, tonight was the first time I felt that Beth was actually a suspect. The dress convinced you. Yes, yes. Are you kidding me? Uh, she was screaming at the maid. She told Hilda, look, take this down and drop it at the box for charity. And I'm thinking, you know why she's all hyped up? I say to myself, because this dress links her to the murder. Because of the powder burns. Yes, right? the powder burns or, or, or blood stains or well, whatever. It's definitely got stains. Well, let's see what we got. What's this? Bleach? Bleach. Stain's gone. Bleach burned it away completely. All right, um... Wait a second. Okay, well then, uh, this is destroying evidence. We, we, we're gonna have to prove intent. Intent? All we've got is a dress with a bleach stain on it. That's all we know for sure. Hey, maybe it was put there on purpose. Maybe by accident. Either way, I'm screwed. Okay, wait, 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 wait a second. Admit it. You've got nothing on anybody hold else. On, not say, Beth, not Olivia, just me. Hold on a second. You are out of suspects. Except for this one right here. So give it up. No, I'm not. I'm not giving it up. Beth, why are you in here in the dark? Don't. Something wrong? It's Gus, isn't it? Look, I uh, admit that he has no decency when it comes to family. Gus didn't upset me. He just... Just, just what? He just... made me realize that I can't go on like this. Like what? I can't. The hiding, the pretending, it's beating me up inside. I can't. I can't go on like this. Beth, 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 what are you saying? I thought, I thought that it wouldn't come to this. I, I thought that I could keep it bottled up forever. But I, I can't. I Ellen, I have a confession to make. So, dynamite. You're lurking around with your fingers crossed, hoping that I'm going to give my Uncle Eddie the dirt on his blushing bride, huh? Yeah, 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 that's pretty much the idea. What happened? Did you just chicken out? No, no, there wasn't much to tell. Actually, it turned out to be kind of a boring night. Oh, okay. All right. Whatever you say. Ooh. You don't know anything happened. You spent the night with Cassie in her bed, the night before her wedding, yes or no? Yes. Well, then, my friend, I don't think it matters what happened because that fact alone is explosive enough. No, if that fact gets out, then Edmund and Cassie get blown up, which is pretty cool, I guess. But I really don't care. I already got what I wanted out of the whole deal. Alan's gonna pay for this, so help me. Hey. I'm not going anywhere. 
Okay. I'm still my best girl next to you. It's just a loss. It'll be all right. It will. So look, the sooner Alan hears about our revised plans, the sooner he'll get off our back, and then we can... Wait a minute. What's the matter? Well, you married a genius. Okay, Alan went ballistic when he heard about the adoption stuff, right? I mean, yeah. obviously there's nothing he wouldn't do to keep me from doing so. So let's not tell him just yet. We're going to use it as a bargaining chip. And make him think that... You're sticking it to your husband. <gasps> I'm a terrible oh, wife. The worst. You're so evil. You are, Jesus. <laughs> Look, it. There still might be a way to find bloodstains on this dress or. or GSR. I know a lab in DC. Alright, these are. these. these kids. They're very talented kids, okay? If anybody can find something on this, they can. So, we're not gonna give up until then, okay? You hear me? I hear you. What is the matter with you? I'm tired. I'm so tired. Yeah, I know that one, you know, I... I'm fighting everybody in this town, okay? And not one person gives me an inch. And the only thing that makes that worse is when you become one of them. Okay. Then maybe I should just stop fighting. No, you... Beth was this close, honey. This close to telling me something major. <laughs> and I'm sure that after you practically raked her over the coals, she's going to be oh so eager to open up to you again. Well, no. She won't. You're right. But she might be able to talk to you. That's everything? The whole story? Isn't that enough? I know how difficult this must be for you. I can hardly believe it myself. That night? That night? I... I wasn't in my right mind, and... I know that that's no excuse, but it's the only explanation that I have. I'm not angry with you, Beth. I'm grateful that I'm the one you came to to tell me. It was so hard for me to do. You know how much I love Philip. This tragedy is something that I will never get over as long as I live. But I love you too. You're like family. I, I, I always have. Not always. You must promise me that you will not tell anyone what you just told me. What about a lawyer? No. This must stay between us. If it does, we will not need a lawyer. Oh, Alan, I just... Promise I feel... me, Beth. I won't say a word. To anyone. To anyone. It's what's best. I will protect you. I will take care of you. If you do exactly as I tell you. I understand. It's, it's just between us, I promise. Now, go get some rest. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs>